Hey guys, Duncan with Steel here. We're gonna be going over something we haven't gone over in the past, which is the Argus 1431 Mark II. So today we're gonna be going over the features and some of the options uh, that we at Steel offer with the 1431. First and foremost, it is an articulating binocular system. It does have auto shut off when you stow it up. This is a feature that you can engage on or off, and we'll go over that a little bit uh, further in the video today. So a quick overview with the 1431. You do have IPD stops on either side, very much so like other binocular systems like the 31 Alpha, the 1531, the F5032 or 31 Delta. It is a spindle design to allow you to spin uh, forward or back uh, depending on how you want to set your IPD. Going to the back of the system, you have your retention points on either side. We always stress here at Steel that you need to retain your device to your helmet, especially if you're using a breakaway feature on your G24. When that engages, you don't want it to smack the ground, so having this with a lanyard or retention device is going to be crucial. Moving along to the side, on the right side of the housing, you do have auxiliary power you do have the option to buy an Argus a remote battery pack. They are rather cost effective, much in line with the AB battery packs. So you're looking under $500 for sure. But if not, you do run an onboard AA, much like your 31s, 1531s, um, and other binocular style devices. Moving along, you do have a couple of features on board that you can turn on and off. So for instance, you do see the IR right here. So a quick double tap of the on off button will engage that IR and the red indicators or light pipes will turn on within your device. And then turning this, if your device has manual gain, turning the power button uh, left and right will initiate that manual gain feature. And then lastly, uh, we had previously spoke about auto on off when stowed. This is a feature that you guys can turn on and off at your leisure or preference. So a quick uh, five taps of the on off button uh, will engage this on or off. In the 1431, unlike some other binocular devices, when you're stowed in this position, it's not going to engage. You actually have to be in a slightly canted back position to engage that uh, on or off if your preference is so chosen. So if you guys have any questions about the BMED 1431 Mark II, we are gonna be offering this very similar to that we have in the past, which is photonics tubes. We're also gonna be expanding that with L3 and Elbit and offering that in a manual gain system. So if you guys have any questions about the 1431, make sure to send us an email, give us a call, or utilize our live chat. Thanks guys.